morning, Kingsley Community. Pastor Callan Merriman here coming to you with another daily devotion for Monday morning, April 24th, 2023, doing Now What? What to Do When You Don't Know What to Do by John Ragsdell. Day five, your fear does not frighten him. John 6, 20, Jesus said to them, it is I, don't be afraid. So John writes, from time to time, all of us experience difficult days when unexpected circumstances test our mettle. When these situations occur, fear creeps in and threatens to overtake our minds and our hearts. You may be afraid of the future, but God isn't. Your fear doesn't frighten him, never has, never will. He's big enough and strong enough to tackle any problem, including yours. If you're a apprehensive about the next phase of your life's journey, ask God to help you step beyond the boundaries of your fear. Ask him to guide you to a place where you can realize your potential, a place where you are free, freed from the paralysis of anxiety. Ask God to do his part and then promise him to do your part. Don't ask God to lead you to a safe place. Ask him to lead you to the right place. And remember that those two places are seldom the same. So more thoughts about fear from John Piper. The presence of hope in the invincible sovereignty of God drives out fear. Max Lucado, the presence of fear does not mean you have no faith. Fear visits everyone, but make your fear a visitor and not a resident. Bruce Wilkinson, in my experience, God rarely makes our fear disappear. Instead, he asks us to be strong and take courage. More from God's word. Isaiah 41, verse 10. Read that, Isaiah 41, verse 10, and Mark 5, 36, which says, Do not be afraid, only believe. So now what? If you're feeling anxious or fearful, you must trust God to solve the problems that are simply too big for you to solve on your own. With God as your partner, you can overcome your fears by trusting him and then facing your challenges head on. All right, so your fear does not frighten God. He said to them, It is I, don't be afraid. So you might be afraid, but God isn't afraid of your fear. So tell him why you're afraid and um, know that a lot of times you have to move forward um, to find out if you have the courage or not. So, but you'll never know unless you move forward. I always think about that time when um, Moses was uh, parting the Red Sea and the people had put their toes in before the sea would part. He had his arms up and they, you know, he told them, go move forward. Watch your God save you. Watch our God save us. Uh, and so they moved forward and then the sea parted. They had to move forward. They had to get the courage um, to face their fear. So I think this one, um, in my experience, God rarely makes our fear disappear. Instead, he asks us to be strong and take courage. And then as we do that, stay strong, take courage, go where we're afraid to go, but we know God is calling us there, then all of a sudden the fear dissipates and the courage becomes bigger. So um, hopefully that was helpful. This is a good book. Now what? What to do when you don't know what to do? John Ragsdale. So your fear does not frighten God. So read Isaiah 41.10 and Mark 5.36. And remember that, I don't know, it's 365 times in the Bible it says, fear not. So I think God's pretty clear on, don't fear. Um, don't worry. Live for today. Move out in faith. And I know it'll take courage, but God will give you the courage. So you might be still afraid as you're moving forward, trying to, you know, go in the direction God wants you to, and you're afraid. And you say, well, what if I'm not going in the right direction? If you're praying to God, he will lead you in the right direction. Even if you go off course a little, he'll move you back where you need to go. So listen. And, and the, the way you hear God's voice through the power of the Spirit is like that internal feeling, that prompting of the Spirit. So a lot of people, most people do not hear the audible voice of God. I'm not saying you can't, just most people don't. So, But you know which is the right way to go. You know when you're in a place where um, you're supposed to be, that God has brought you to it. And so um, take courage, move forward. There's also um, a scripture where the priests, the Levitical priests have to cross the Jordan and it was over their heads 
<clears throat> so they had to go in, and not only had they got had to go in, they were almost up to mid-calf, almost knee, before the water subsided and they could cross. So another opportunity where God will, um, even if we're afraid, he's still going to ask us to move forward in faith, trusting him, because we grow our trust, we build our trust muscles and our faith muscles. God helps us to learn how to persevere when we go forward and we are afraid and we don't have courage. I mean, you don't know you have courage until you need to use it. And so move forward, know that God is with you, and remember that our fear does not frighten God because he's in charge. So I hope that was helpful for you today. I'll pray you out. Um, it is Monday morning, and that's all I know. So let's pray. Lord, we thank you for today, and hopefully the sun's out where you are at. Just pray that um, to be reminded, and thank you for reminding us that the fear we have, the fears we have, don't frighten you. We can bring them to you. We can ask you to give us courage, but you're not going to just poof, give us courage. You're going to lead us to a place where we need to step out in faith and move forward and the courage will come. So help us to remember that, lead and guide our lives today and every day in the name of Christ. Amen. All right. I hope you have a good day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.